Hey guys, it's me, the Cat Wizard. Today what we're going to be doing is a child version of a Harry Potter room makeover. So, with no help, I'm going to be doing a room makeover. I'm also going to be cleaning my room during this whole thing, because it's a mess. So, yeah, um, let's get started. So the first thing I made, I didn't actually make this, just bought it off of Amazon. This is platform nine and three quarters. Um, she, I wanted to get the fat lady, but we couldn't, so settled on platform nine and three quarters. Just works. You know, you run through it. So yeah, and then it's, my door can shut easily, so all we did was tack it up to the outside my door. Doesn't really damage it. We just used some normal little tacks. So next thing, next thing. So what I did was I made my bed next. I wish I could have switched it to Harry Potter pillows and blankets. And I wish I could have bought a Harry Potter blanket and stuff like that, but we couldn't. So here we are. On the floor. So we see the floor is very messy right now. Um, it's got a lot of stuff on it. And we're gonna clean it just like. There we go, our floor is nicely clean. So that's that strapper staying there because this is technically not my cat's. Um, my keyboard's over there, and we have my bed nicely done. Quidditch blanket, because we know Quidditch is the best. So let's go with this, and I need to fix lighting. Um, sorry about that, guys. The lighting's so terrible today. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get some better lighting, but anyways, as you see, we have some Harry Potter books. I know I need more. Very pathetic right now. We have the Order of the Phoenix, the Half-Blood Prince, we have a Dumbledore Cinematic Guide, a Hermione Granger Cinematic Guide, a Harry Potter Cinematic Guide, and a Ronald Weasley Cinematic Guide, and oh, hey cat. We also have the Harry, the unofficial Ultimate Harry Potter Spellbook, and we have a cook Harry Potter cookbook that has all sorts of different recipes, and um, they're, they're really cool. There's a bunch of Molly Weasley cooking stuff in here, so he may not be as good as Molly, but at least he can cook some things that Molly made. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna organize all these books onto my bed, and it's gonna look really cool and sell to you. Oh boy, I love my cat. There we go. So we have all of our books nice and spread out. So there we go. My bed's pretty much done. So next, what we're doing is we have a bunch of different house crests, and we're gonna string them on a piece of, of like fishing line, and we're gonna hang them up somewhere over here, whether it's above my curtain, or you might just, you know, hang it on the furniture like this, like that. Depends on how I feel. So yeah, let's just start making these. Woo woo, Harry Potter. So, here we are, we've completed all of the crests, as we see my cat's very interested, but yeah, they have like, you know, nice and cool. I'm really sorry for anyone who was kind of bothering me, it's always my bit of space. Um, I might just print out more and just add them on, but yeah, that's what we got so far. Woo. The next thing I did was I made these little uh, potion ingredients, like a um, unicorn horn, which is just some glitter. And um, as we see over here, all the glitters are different things. This is wormwood. Um, we have some lace wing flies, some fairy wings, some troll ears, and then we have some potions I made. Wolfsbane, Felix Alesis, and some polyjuice potion. Then if we come over here, sorry for my mess, we have some um, rampage musk. Sorry for those who are ticked off that I uh, may have said it wrong. Some pegasus tears. Some acromantula venom. And some snake venom. Now all those are just food dyes. And then I have three more potions. Draw of Living Peace, 
draw of living death and a love potion. And now, the potions, I printed off the labels, and for all the ingredients, like the food dyes and um, the glitter, I just handmade myself. So the next thing we have is just a couple decorations, you know, just kind of random, scattered, just for fun. The first thing is, I have this, I made this little golden snitch, I just bought this ball from the Dollar Tree, and hot glued two foil wings on it. And so I just kind of set it right here on my dresser, like right there. And then I have my wand that just sits on my dresser. This, oh, there's my mirror, hi. <laughs> That's so weird. And then we also have my quill right here that's inside. And then I have a little Harry Potter pioneer inside, like this little sign-in sheet. So it looks like parchment, so I just keep it here. Just enough fun, a little effect. And then, um, I bought these little tea light candles, and as we know, candles, Wizarding World, a lot of them use it. We have a few up here, my dresser. And then we have a couple just pieces of Harry Potter merch, like this. I saw me swim up to no good water bottle. And my little pet bow truckle, one of my pets. Some quotes I'm gonna hang up. She's saddening, but really, really good. And then we have like my robe and hat. So that's all for the Harry Potter room makeover. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoy. And if you ever try out one of these, just post, just um, post on Facebook. I'll see if I can check it out. Um, see you guys later. Cat Wizard out.